celebrate something else that developed slowly too. Here's where they make champagne. This is the start of the cochelet, the ancient ceremony that takes place when the very last basket of grapes leaves the chalky vineyard on its way to the wine presses and the cellars, where in nature's own good time, it gets that sparkle which makes champagne the queen of wines. In this chateau, there's a four mile network of cellars, a great rambling bedchamber for this sleeping beauty, the queen of wines to be. Champagne must sleep at least a year once it's blended and bottled, with a daily shake to bring its sediment to the bottleneck. It's skilled work shaking champagne and giving each bottle a daily twist of one-eighth of a turn of a circle, but a good cellarman moves just on 30,000 bubbly bottles a day. Finally, they're ready to have their necks frozen so that the sediment can be taken away without the sparkle escaping as well. The sojourn in these cool, dim cellars is nearing an end. Quite suddenly, the sleeping beauty has come to life, and now she's ready to be crowned and start a honeymoon journey, maybe across the world. Champagne bottles, like the stout corks that crown them, must be flawless, or the laughing wine inside them will burst out. But this is the wine that they harvested three or four years ago. Last year's crop is still frothing in 44 gallon casks, still to be tested and blended. For unlike other wines, the choice champagnes are made by marrying different growths together. It's the taster who tells which wines will go together, because surprisingly, the chemists can't distinguish vin ordinaire from the vintage wine, the cuvee that connoisseurs recognize and everyone delights in as that ancient cochelet ceremony culminates in a cellar banquet, here where champagne is brought to dancing life. There's a French medal for special excellence awarded each year to people or projects that have displayed exceptional quality. And this chateau has won it with a champagne they named after Marie Antoinette, who visited this very vineyard 200 years ago. So tonight, Marie Antoinette, in the shape of Parisian mannequin François Zolt, is brought back again. And what goes more suitably with fine champagne than high fashion, supplied by a top Paris fashion house to decorate the banquet? High fashion too, supplied by the chateau itself. The Sleeping Beauty has opened her winking eyes tonight. The toast is the Queen of Wines with a royal salute of a hundred popping corks.